Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lash Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in today's video, we will be talking about what kind of pots I use for growing succulents uh, because a lot of questions come in as per uh, what are the dimensions of the pot, what is the size of the pot, what material is the pot made out of. I get a lot of questions on and off and a lot of times what I have noticed when people share uh, their images of their succulents, I have seen that uh, some of the sizes of the pots are incorrect. Uh, either they are too large or they are too deep or they are very wide uh, or probably they are not of the right material. So I thought that I should make this video because this is one of the most important point when you are growing succulents. Now there are a lot of uh, aspects that uh, come into picture when you are growing succulents. Uh, be it watering, be it the soil type, uh, your environment, your climate, the season, your watering. Uh, these are all the important aspects that play uh, an important role while growing succulents. But there is another important thing that you need to keep in mind which we ideally uh, do not talk about it much. So I wanted to make a video because this is equally important as the others like watering, soil, uh, the amount of light, the amount of sunlight, direct, indirect, uh, the type of environment. All these are important things. Apart from that, there is another very important thing. Probably I might have not spoken about this quite often, but that is related with pots. Now, in this video, whatever I'm going to be talking about, this is from my experience of growing succulents and the type of pots that I have used. And I have been very successful with that. So I thought that I'm going to share it with you guys because I've seen a lot of people using the wrong type of uh, pot. Now, when I'm saying wrong type of pot, uh, basically I'm... Uh, indicating or I am pointing towards the size of the pot. I've seen a lot of people grow uh, succulents in a very, very large pots uh, and the succulent is not that big enough due to which that will also hamper your succulents. So in this video, I'll be talking about what type of pots I use and what is the size of the pots. Now, almost 90% of my pots are of the similar size. So I definitely cannot show you all of them, but I'm going to show you some uh, uh, examples here and there so it will be easier for you to understand now the first one uh, this is something that a lot of people have asked me because these are my famous uh, round pots that I'm crazy about but unfortunately because these take a lot of space uh, that's why I have stopped making these pots uh, though I love these pots a lot a lot of my I'll put the images you might have seen uh, I am a big fan of these pots because they look very pretty but the only issue is that uh, they take a lot of space so I wanted to grow a lot of succulents so I've started making pots that are slightly uh, more narrow uh, which tends to work out really well but at the same time does not take a lot of space as compared to these circular pots but a lot of people who asked me about these circular pots i'll give you the measurements and the dimensions of these now uh, this pot over here this is if i'm going to just uh, scale it up and show you the uh, size now all of my circular pots are of the same size because it's the same mold so all of the pots that you're going to be seeing the circular ones will have the same dimensions so the width of this uh, circular pot is uh, approximately 10 centimeters and the depth of this would be it's going to be around seven centimeters so this is uh width is 10 centimeters and the depth is around 7 centimeters so it's a fairly small pot and it is made out of concrete of course so this tends to work out really well for my succulents one i have a soil that's very gritty as you can see as you can see the soil is very very gritty uh, very sandy so the soil tends to dry faster and then this is concrete pot so as in when there is excess moisture in this pot uh, the moisture is uh, pulled out by the concrete pot. Apart from that, the size of the pot is only 7 centimeters, so the soil tends to dry faster. So in all aspects, you can see that uh, the moisture level in the soil is going to be very, very minimum. Uh, good enough for the succulent to have a quick drink and all the excess moisture is either going to get absorbed by the uh, concrete pot all the excess moisture apart from that the upper layer of soil will get dried because of the sunlight so in every aspect the soil is going to dry out much faster which is the most important part now the entire reason behind this is one uh, there's very less soil in this because it's hardly seven centimeters so the soil usage is less which means that the soil will dry faster so this is one thing that i want to share with you guys now i'll show you a couple of other pots as well which i tend to make 
Now this is my first pot that I had uh, made. Now this pot is almost five years old. I haven't potted anything in this because it does not have a drain hole. But uh, this was kind of a memory to me from where I all started it. Now this pot was made out of white cement. Initially I was experimenting with white cement and then I realized that white cement is a little expensive, not very expensive, slightly more expensive than grey cement. So then I switched on to uh, the grey cement pots as you can see over here. I shifted to completely to grey cement. Now this is uh, not done properly so I have just kept it aside and then this was the first pot. So this pot is almost five years old uh, so I've just kept it as a momentum, as a memory uh, from where it all started off uh, making my pot. So you can see the pot is like it doesn't even look like it's handmade. It I had painted this pot just to check how well the paint uh, comes onto the pot and you can see it is super strong over the years for five years the pot has turned really strong because i do get a lot of questions wherein they say that they have made a pot and it cracked within a couple of days or months but you can see this is a five year old pot very strong uh, it's almost looks like it's made out of ceramic but it's actually uh, a white cement pot that i had made initially five years ago now these are some of my earthen pots. Now these pots uh, I had made them out of clay and then they were fired but uh, post covid the person who used to fire these pots uh, shifted from my city and now I no longer can make these pots because uh, uh, the clay pots need to be fired uh, only then they will be strong and this was another one that I had made. Uh, these are clay pots again super uh, friendly with succulents they tend to absorb water very quickly. Now this pot is slightly deeper, I'm going to show you the measurements. So this pot, now if you're going to use a pot like this, let me show you the measurements first. Now this pot is approximately 8 centimeters, and the width is around 18.5 uh, centimeters. Now guys, if you're going to use a pot like this, definitely you cannot use it for only one succulent uh, because it's almost uh, 8 centimeters and uh, you can probably grow a mother plant in this but if you're growing pups in this it wouldn't be a very good idea because this pot i had initially made it for an arrangement so you can use such pots for arrangement wherein there are a couple of succulents but if you're but i would advise do not use only one succulent in this if it's a medium sized succulent or a pup do not grow a small pup only one in this pot because the soil is going to be too much which means that it's going to take time for it to dry even though it is made out of clay it is made out of a very porous material till we have to ensure because i've seen people using such a big pot and they're just planting one little tiny plant in between and they expect the plant to grow that is not going to grow very well it will harm the succulent whereas over here as you can see this pot is around um, let's say this is around five centimeters or i would say 4.5 centimeters in uh, height now in this you can definitely grow a small succulent it won't be much of an issue there is a drain hole it's kind of covered with soil but uh, there is a drain hole i will show it to you you can see there is a drain hole it's completely covered with soil at this point of time because i haven't used this for a long time so this pot again uh, you can grow one succulent in this but when you're having a pot like this you have to grow at least uh, in this uh, pot i would say you can grow around uh, five to six medium sized succulents or if you're growing small pups uh, you can put in around 10 to 15 pups but uh, do not reduce the amount of succulents especially when you have a little bit bigger pot whereas if you have a pot like this now i'm not very sure how deep this pot is this is around seven uh, centimeters in this you can grow one succulent at a time probably a medium sized succulent or a pup you can easily grow it in this but don't grow a mother plant in such a small pot so the size of the succulent uh, should vary with the pot uh, you cannot have a large succulent in a small pot or you cannot have a small succulent in a large pot uh, because remember succulents will grow very slow uh, even though they tend to grow very slow uh, the whole idea and the purpose uh, behind using a, the correct size of pot is to avoid repotting quite often as we have spoken about this earlier as well uh, if you're going to repot your succulents every now and then that will again damage your uh, the growth and it might hamper the growth of the succulent so you have to ensure that whatever pot you're using uh, the repotting should be very less uh, now in this uh, pot if i'm going to use a medium sized succulent let's say uh, let's say five medium sized succulents then i definitely do not need to repot them for another two or three years whatever depending upon how fast the succulent grows uh, usually two years is more than enough for a succulent to be in this kind of pot
So as I said that I have stopped making the circular pots. So these are the pots that I have started making. Uh, as you can see, these are uh, more narrow. So the reason why I like these pots is because you can see they can uh, uh, be very close to each other without wasting much space. And in this way, if you have lack of space, you can uh, completely keep them very close to each other and this will reduce the space. If I had to use a circular pot, probably it would have covered this much space. So if it was a circular pot, it would have covered at least this much space or if it was a, a circular a bowl or something like that, it would have covered at least this space wherein I can put in two of the succulents, especially people who do not have a lot of space. I think these type of narrow pots would work out really well. Now, if I am going to check and I'm going to show you the dimensions, this is around uh, 8.5. Uh, I'm not very sure if it's going to be visible because it's very sunny today. Uh, so i hope it will be visible to you guys so this is around eight centimeters in depth and the width is going to be let's say it is around 9.5 uh, so it's going to be 9.5 uh, centimeters in width and eight centimeters in depth so this is an idle pot because now most of my succulents are being moved to these pots because they are uh, they are the space savers i call them as because they are very narrow and they work out really well uh, so you can see the pot sizes are very small so in these pots i just use one succulent or probably if it's a sedum or if it's a smaller succulent i can put three in each pot but uh, if it's a large medium sized succulent i will just use one you might have seen in most of my videos that i just use one succulent in this and that's more than enough the succulent will be in this for at least two years i do not need to repot and uh, so this is another type of pot which I have been using a lot and you might see uh, such pots quite often in my videos because these are working out really well. So guys that was all about the dimensions of the pot. In my next video I am going to show you how to correctly place your succulent in the pot because again this would be very helpful for a lot of beginners. So in my next video I will be showing you how to place the succulent correctly in the pot. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.